This video will be continued, and this one will be Music Theory 6, and it will be saved in the music folder. Now, last time we were talking about notes on lines and how they don't have to be on the exact same lines, but they can skip around between lines so that you hear notes playing melodies or tunes, as we call them, and that's how that's done. You hear it, and that's what it looks like on a page. So when musicians are playing it, that's what they see, and they turn that back into sound. Now, here's another factor. That's a set of five lines for a certain amount of high and low sound. But if you're playing a piano, you have a very large keyboard with lots of keys on it. So there are some very high sounds and some very low sounds. So what you have to have is a staff. A staff is down here, as you will see. What is a staff? Two sets of five lines right together. Now see this here? That means the end of that staff on one page, let's say, of a, something you're playing. And then here is what's called the staff over here. That means a staff when it's combined with this little line right over here. See that little thing right on the end? That shows you that those two sets of lines are combined. We call this the language of music a staff. So that's what a staff is for. So now what we say here is that now we face two problems. Both are about how to nail things down to be more specific about time and pitch. Remember that all time is basically across from left to right and pitch is basically up and down. All of this is involved by things we do with the lines. Now, music is fast or slow based on the kind of notes that we use as a standard. Music is high and low based on the meaning of the lines that we use as a standard. All right. So in other words, if you have anything that you want to use or compare anything with, you have to have some standard to compare something with. Now, for example, they talk about speed. What's the speed of light? What's the speed of a car? What's the speed of a snail? Well, what is the standard by which you measure all this? Is there one standard you measure that by? Well, there is as far as miles go. In this country, other countries use a different kind of standard to use. So in music, there is a standard. Now, this is what this is about. The key here is the word standard. Remember, notes are slow and fast relative to one another. Remember, notes are high and low relative to the position of one to the other. Because of this relativity in both time and pitch, we have to find a way here to something to measure these by. So of our standards, are ways to measure time and pitch. Okay, now, this is what we're going to into here. We're going into how you measure time and pitch. Lines drawn up and down the staff divide lines to divide them into time units. Okay, here's the staff. Lines drawn up and down here are the lines. These are lines drawn up and down. That gives you a unit of time. So you can be very specific about happens music in that time. And time signature at the beginning of each staff. So you can very, very specific <laughs> as to the note values are in a standard piece of music. Now, we're going to have to show you this with drawings of this, but... Lines drawn up and down across the staff are called measures. Between these measure lines, only so many units of time can fit in. Time signatures are factors written at the beginning of each staff that defines these units of times. Signatures and measures work together to allow us to be specific about time in music. 
And here is how. And we will do that on the next page. So you see, music is not as simple as it sounds. As you get into it, and we are getting into it more and more, you find now that music, not only to see it, but to play it or to hear it, is something that is sounds easy because you hear it all the time, but you don't know what you're hearing. You don't know how difficult it is to understand it. So that is why we have to have standards by which we can measure things so that all musicians, no matter what they play, have some standard that makes them use music similarly, even though it's jazz, classical, ragtime, rock, whatever. It all uses the same standard. We will return shortly.